Hello again, and thank you so much for your purchase of RealPlans Pro. So without further ado, let's get into it and see what it can do for you. Let's start off with a little orientation. You purchased RealPlans Pro. This is the professional version of RealPlans, the customer-facing application you'll be handing to your clients. RealPlans Pro lives on your desktop, and it's what I'm about to walk you through. RealPlans also lives on a desktop, and it can be found on Apple's App Store and Android's Play Store. Each version is built specifically for that platform. The mobile apps are full-featured and designed for meal planning on the go and shopping. Both you and your client log in from the same screen, accessed from the RealPlans homepage. But you'll be taken to different places. Your client to RealPlans and you to RealPlans Pro. Incidentally, you too can log into the mobile apps using the same credentials you have for RealPlans Pro and it'll treat you like a normal client. Let's return to RealPlans Pro. You start here on the advanced settings. This is mainly used to set the default settings for each new client. So set your hemisphere, time zone, recipe measurement, and make some best guesses about, for example, whether most of them will have a slow cooker or a pressure cooker. This determines the types of recipes to be scheduled for them. Oh, and you can also decide what you call your users, clients or patients. Once you're done, click Save, and you'll be taken to your main screen, Client Management. You have various menu options that we can talk about shortly. But you'll see here that we set you up as the first client, and this acts as your own RealPlans account, called Demo Account. You can play around in here all you want, and use this for your personal meal planning, if you're so inclined. This drop-down takes you to your account in RealPlans, so you can see what the customer sees. If you want to dive in and learn more about RealPlans itself, go to Getting Started Here and watch this. For now, all you need to know is that your client will have a weekly meal plan set up by you, an accompanying timeline, and a consolidated shopping list. The drop-down then brings you back home to your dashboard by clicking here. Let's set up a client. You go here, add some information in here, decide whether you want to automatically invite them now via email, and here you decide if this access will be for a fixed period. You add the client, and once saved, you have access to their entire account. If you automatically invited them, they'll be creating their own password. A transcript of the email can be found here. If it all goes wrong on their end, you can easily override their password here and email them or just tell them their full credentials. Here you can write notes about the client. RealPlans Pro is not HIPAA compliant, so please use your existing systems for any medical notes, if that's your field. The Account tab shows whether they're currently assigned a seat or not, and engagement will start to show activity when your client logs in so you can keep tabs on them. All the action, though, takes place in settings. Here you decide how the meal plan will function. Diet and schedule is for how the automated meal plans will work, in other words, when you haven't set them a template. And of course, the meal plan templates section is for template scheduling. The other major choice is whether they'll be following a macro-driven plan. Turning this on displays all the macro settings. And for this option, we remove any scheduling choices. Macro-driven plans are complicated enough to calculate, so we mandate the schedule. In other words, we preset how many meals are actually cooked and where the leftovers will be scheduled. As for non-macro plans, you can set any schedule you like. Let's take an example. You can change the number of dinners and decide whether or not you'll want to eat leftovers. A popular choice is it reduces the number of times you cook. Other options here are provided and driven by years of subscriber feedback. They work really well. Follow popular cooking trends and clients should be encouraged to fit the plan to suit their actual week. Finally, these advanced settings take on your defaults, such as equipment. There are other options in here that you can read all about in our extensive support section. Or you can just chat to a specialist from 6am to 9pm PST to have any questions answered. You'll find our support staff to be a great resource. Please use them. They're there to support you.
So let's talk about other features. Meal plan presets allow you to create your own custom diets that you can create and roll out for all your clients, especially if your business is centered on a particular set of protocols. Same goes for scheduling and macro presets. Recipe box shows you all available recipes. This prompt is designed to encourage you to import your own recipes that can be seen by all your clients, whether they're assigned a seat or not. Click here to see all the recipes. It's a great place to become familiar with all the available content. Importing recipes is a cinch, so you can also click here and follow the prompts. Meal plan templates allow you to create your own meal plans that, as you've already seen, can be deployed to your clients. You add a new one here, decide on which diet you want to focus on, and it opens this screen. You can then pick any recipe you like. We've already picked out sides that you might like to pair too. So by opening the recipe and clicking on its picture, you pick one and add it like that. You can also create leftovers by dragging icons like this and picking this option. Once you've completed your template, you save it here. Then, for fun, let's go back to your original client and deploy the template like this. You can then go to their meal plan and see it all laid out for them. We add a little note here to warn you that you're in their live meal planning account. So here's the template already deployed. Note, the shopping list and settings are grayed out to save any confusion. All their settings can be adjusted from your pro dashboard and their shopping list is left for them to check off. Back to the pro dashboard for a final look at a few administrative settings. In profile, you can sign up as a Real Plans affiliate through our secure provider, Ultracart. Click here and follow the prompts. Within 24 hours, we'll email you back with an affiliate ID which you paste in here. There's no rush to do this in the first couple of weeks. We'll remind you by email. Once unassigned a seat, your clients will get Real Plans access for two weeks and will prompt them for their payment method. If you're an affiliate, you'll then earn commissions for the lifetime of their personal subscription. They'll also have access to all of your recipes. In this section, you can add your own branding, which will show up on any printout and meal plans. In account, we provide a summary of your clients and who's assigned a seat. You can also cancel your subscription from this link. It's important to know your exit strategy, but we hope you'll find this an extremely useful tool and you'll stick with us for years. A copy of the disclaimer that you signed when you purchased your subscription is found here. And the billing tab shows you all past invoices and a place for you to update your payment method. Finally, here are all the support articles, both for Real Plans and for Real Plans Pro down here. But hopefully this video will cover most of what you need to get you going. We're done. Good luck and don't be shy to contact support. They're here to help you make the subscription a win for everybody.